Hi everyone, for this question is a, a radioactive material decomposed at the rate is proportional to the mass of the material left that time. So from here, we can identify this model which is radioactive material decomposition. So given that this rate of change is negative kx, so where x in terms of time here represents the remaining mass because it said mass of the material left. So remaining mass of the radioactive material. So after we read this one, we identify our variable, then we come out to the story timeline. So we know that our variable here is T is regarding the time. So material after the time so the time they will be in years because you can continue to read if one third of the radioactive material decomposite in 12 years what is the percentage of the mass of radioactive material remaining after years so for time they use years and then another unknown here which is x which is your material left so initial state when our story starts, so zero, therefore, we will have the original concentration of your radioactive material. So after 12 years, one third of the radioactive decomposite. So when one third of it decomposite, the remaining, because X here is denoted the remaining mass. So one third decomposes, so remaining will be 2 over 3 of initial concentration. And then what is the percentage of the mass? So you are asking X here will remain after 3 years. So this is our story timeline with the value given. Now we are going to solve this model. So look at the DE here, DX, DT equals to KX. When our DE just in term of one variable, which is X, means most probably our DE can be solved by separate method. So because you only have the unknown X, so this is your factor of X. Therefore, we rearrange. So X move to the left hand side, and DT move to the right hand side. Then we integrate both sides. So once we integrate both sides, it will be ln x for this integration fraction. Integrate respect to t. So our unknown will come back to kt. So in defined integral, we plus c. Then we simplify here until we get general solution. So what is our general solution? It will be in the subject of x, then in term of t. So in the subject of x, we have to remove this ln. So we unlock. When you unlock, it will be the base E move to the right hand side. So everything here will become power. And then E power plus C. It will be same as E power C in multiplication. When indices multiply with indices, so the power will be plus. So we split it up. This means we have multiplied EC. So EC, we represent it as a constant. Because E is a constant, C is a constant. So we simplify it as a constant A. Then we achieve this general solution. Then we try to substitute the value to find out the constant. So the constant having in this general solution will be A and K. So starting when we substitute T equals to 0, the concentration is initial C naught. So E0 will give you 1. Therefore, we get constant A is an initial concentration C node. Therefore, our solution it will be X equals to C node times E negative T. E negative KT. Then we notice here, so this is our constant, this is our variable. And then we need to find out what is our K by using second information. When T equals to 12, X equals to 2 over 3 C node, we substitute. To the solution here 
so you can notice that C note and C note here left hand side and right hand side can be simplified then we move the E to the left hand side when we move the E base E to the left hand side it will be long negative KT so where T is 12 so finally we will divide by negative 12 so therefore we get particular solution where x equals to c node e so negative k so negative negative here will give us positive 12 kt then we answer the question after three years how much the remaining radioactive material in percentage therefore when t equals to 3 So in percentage, so 0 0.9036 of initial value concentration. In percentage, we will be multiplied with 100. Therefore, when we multiply, we are having 90.36% of the radioactive material remaining.